I've always wondered because when I left the country to go overseas, the internet was uh, not even not you know not even working at that time. I mean, it just wasn't a thing. And I remember uh, uh, listening to Bob Grant and his and his and his uh, his acolyte. Uh, what was his name? Diamond. Jay Diamond. Yeah, Jay Diamond. Yeah. Jay, oh, yeah, the psycho. Jay yeah, Diamond, who, had, who, who, yeah. who like turned into a vicious little worm. It was almost like it was like a, like a mental illness. Yeah. Do you guys yes. have any insight into that? What the hell happened? Well, well they, they were, he got himself in trouble at the station, and when conservatives didn't come to his rescue and quit their jobs and just defend Jay Diamond, he got mad, so he turned into a liberal. Yeah, but you know what? I what happened was the guy was off his rocker. That's really what it was. He had yeah. a I don't know. He couldn't keep That's a, a friend. That's a plausible what explanation. Was his friend? I'll accept he was that. And he used people. That was the whole thing. He used people. He couldn't speak up for himself, so he was a manipulator. But after a while, his act got uh, got stale. But, it was, you know, he could say the people didn't show up for him. But what happened was he, like, went on strike. He wanted more money. And, and there was a, a, an anger to him because he said, I never forget, I heard him one night. And he goes, yeah, where do they see my numbers? You know, like, he was like nuts. <laughs> so he went on strike. He was, I think they let him go for about five months. And finally... When Disney came in and bought the uh, station, bought the uh, right, 77, right. that's when uh, he got the boot. And so he could put all the blame. But they let him go for months. And that's how Hannity got in, because he got in on ABC during that time. And, you know, he knew how to play the after, game. After that's what it was Bob. with that. Right. He was a exactly. crackpot. He went from left then he became a middle, he said he's a middle of the rota. Then he became a lefty. That guy had more chances in New York talk radio than anybody ever had. And he got kicked off of every station because he's, uh, he just is, is nuts. He hates people. He's like a real psycho. Yeah, so yeah, good, yeah really. I think okay. it, I think you know, it, you know, I think it all. say nuts. And I, I, I would, I would have to believe that. I mean, nuts as in mentally, mentally ill. Yeah. Well, Frank, yeah, uh, Frank, he, Frank called him. Uh, when Norman. he first came on the scene, he was, he was a conservative. He yeah. talked. When he Bob Brand was it, there, he walked it. I mean, everything. And then to make such changes, and like, I came back from overseas, and I talked to my friend. I said, "Hey, what's up with Jay?" Because we used to love his. Uh, impersonations and 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 everything and uh he said oh he, he like flipped he's like another person so <laughs> yeah well uh, when when bob grant was there then he was the conservative and then and when, that's uh, how he yeah. got in right because his Ooh, friend, bob right he got right. in with bob and i i i remember bob saying oh he follows me around like a little puppy dog he knew how to grease the skids with people and grant got him the show so he started out at night with this guy dave dawson from kansas city who had the dawson. overnight and was very good but didn't like uh, working in new york and then he got the midnight show so he knew how to manipulate and that's what he did so like john said grant was there oh he's a conservative he's parroting grant he's going why not fly the American flag when you, you know, all this crap? Right, right, right. I, I mean, then, not just on large topics, but even down into minutia. If he, if he happened to be talking about walking down the street, every one of his asides fit, fit the template of the way a conservative would, would think. That's why I'm thinking it must be some kind of mental, mental illness. Because well, Frank used to call we him. We uh, have to agree is he was good. His, yeah, well, his, his, yeah, but he his, went off the deep end. Nations and so forth. They were they were fantastic. Well, Gino, uh, Frank gave him a nickname, Norman Bates. So <laughs> and that that applied perfectly. But I think it all started when they told Jay that he had to come to a meeting. There was a meeting they were going to have of the the host and whatever, and he couldn't make it. And they insisted that he go. They made him go. 
to this meeting and he had a doctor's appointment or something, he couldn't make it, and they wouldn't accept no for an answer. So he got all angry at them, and then he, I guess he got himself in trouble, and they suspended him for a week or something, like Frank said. And it just steamrolled from there because he was so angry. And then uh, nobody came to his rescue. He thought everyone would come to his rescue, and they didn't. They're not going to give up their careers and get themselves in trouble because Jay, you know, couldn't control himself. The guy was just yeah. So, it's just so weird. I mean, like I left, and uh, you know, I missed the talk radio. I was living overseas. We didn't have the internet yet, and the internet radio. And and then when I got back, and I and I and and I heard him, or or caught him uh, some videos of him. He became absolutely vicious. It's, it's, it's like uh, he, had a, he had a brain tumor <laughs> or, or something like that. Uh, bizarre, bizarre. Uh, all right, so. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 well, I guess there's really no answer to it, but I wanted to pick uh, you guys' brains and, and uh, see see if you could shed any light on that. Cause yeah, it was definitely was not, a, was, he was not a normal person. So he, he, just, he, he what? Say that again? He was not a normal person. You know, yeah, he, he could fly yeah, off. And the... he was uh, he was he was awfully short too. By the way, I I think that came into play. Very short. I I, I didn't realize that until until later. Yeah, I think he was Four about foot five foot eight or something like that. Like that. So, but he uh, he was short tempered, or you know what it is? I think he was more nervous than anything else. You know, he, he could turn on people in a second. So Yeah, was... well, that's why he turned on everybody. And, uh, you know, he was uh, he, he was a manipulator. First, he hated Sliwa, then he liked Sliwa. And the last time I spoke to him, Sliwa was, uh, that's a story in itself, that fraud. He was at, yeah, uh, yeah. Another he was one. at some oh place in Manhattan. I forget what it was. It was a bookstore or something. And he's going to me, uh, well, you know, you, you can go down there. I said, Jay, I'm not getting on the subway going to Manhattan for that. I said, I got other things to do. And what happened? About two weeks later, the, uh, I saw this photo. At, uh, I think, yeah, it was on the Internet. It was Barry Farber, Sliwa, and Diamond. And I'm saying two weeks or a week before, he's telling me how much he hates this guy. Then he's taking a photo with him. So, you know, he it's not even worth really the discussion. You know, he's gone, long gone, long gone from New York. And Sean Hannity tried to get him back on ABC. He used to go, uh, oh, we got to get Jay Diamond back. And then Diamond comes on his show with Grant. And Diamond was really nasty to Sean Hannity, the guy. Oh, he despises him. He despises him. The, yeah, because he's jealous. The guy was nice enough to say we got to get him back, and then he was really nasty. So the upshot, the upshot was Hannity had on his show. What's the blonde again, John? That you, that comes yeah, and, on and to come and, on the show. And Coulter. And Coulter. Yeah. Oh, and God. he was on with Ann Coulter. <laughs> and I am telling you, she castrated him on that show. I mean, she <laughs> made a fool of him. He was sitting in, like, this uh, sofa chair. And I, I, I missed the first part. I wish I had it. And and he said something about chickens or something. It's going to go back with your chickens and <laughs> and and. and Diamond is sitting there, and he's shriveling up before your eyes. You know, he's like trying to sink into the chair so he could hide. And he's going, oh, aren't I right, Sean? Uh, uh, you agree with me, don't you, Sean? And Hannity, <laughs> like, laughed and brushed him off. So <laughs> well, he, you know, if, was, I, if I never he was challenged, from he him flopped, again, but the thing that's is, fine. But, you know, Hannity just, was very nice to try to get him back on, but he's so crazy and he said, wow, you made a fool out of me. I'm, I'm trying to get you back on. I'm putting in a good word. And you turn on me like that. Oh, you screwed him over good on TV. Right, that's the last time you saw him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, Gino, we're well. going to go.